Hey everybody, so today we're going to be talking about pyrite. And pyrite, I'm sure everybody, most people have probably heard of pyrite. And this is commonly referred to as fool's gold. But honestly, you're a fool if you're not using it. Okay, that was a little lame. But pyrite is very sparkly. <laughs> Look at this. And... This is, uh, I mean, it's true though. Look at, look at this thing and imagine this with the sunlight hitting it. It is awesome. And that, that's actually kind of, um, it comes from the word pyrite, the word pyre, um, comes from, uh, the, a Greek word, which means fire. And I think it's the way the sun hits it on the ground where it kind of looks like fire. If I'm. If I remember correctly, <laughs> hopefully I'm not just making this up, but um, it definitely is from the word um, pyre, which is uh, fire in the Greek language. So, and you can see why, but it is very sparkly. And this is one of those where it's kind of like candy for the eyes. I mean, you can't go wrong with this. Look at it. That's awesome. And without knowing anything about pyrite, without knowing any of the metaphysical properties when you look at pyrite you see the gold you see the shiny shimmering awesomeness of it and you think money you think wealth you think gold you think it's going to be worth money it's all that but you know what that is one of the biggest uses for pyrite and that is pulling in abundance which we'll talk about manifesting wealth and abundance and that's that's one of its top two uses the other one is protection so let's talk about the protection part first so protection in terms of pyrite is i'm talking electromagnetic frequencies i'm talking all the crap that the microwave spits out the tv spits out the your phone your computer, your, I mean, there's so many different things anymore. We, we live in an electronic world, which obviously has its benefits. But in terms of all that electromagnetic frequency, just smacking against your, your energy body all the time. This is another good one, which will protect you from all that junk. And it doesn't, that's all the man-made stuff, um, which... It, it helps bounce all that off and keep it away from you. But also, in terms of the stuff people don't even know they're transmitting, like the bad vibes, um, the bad energies, the, you know, the person that's putting out all the, the, the crappy vibes and, and depressive mood state and trying to just, uh, like, drown your aura and... It will just collect on you over time. Even if you're in a good mood, eventually if you're around that too much, it's going to soak up into your energy body and start bringing you down. And this is the perfect one. Um, I've talked about other crystals and minerals that have that are great for protection, and uh, especially against electromagnetic frequencies and bad energies. Black tourmaline is still my number one. I'm, I'm, I'm still leaning toward my number one protector is black tourmaline but right close to it is pyrite and pyrite's a very grounding stone um the chakras that this one coincides with is the sacral uh in the like the belly button area and also your um i could have heard the solar plexus the one right above that and both those will definitely open and balance if you work with pyrite enough. Um, let me show you another one here. Now, here's a good one. And I'll get into this in a little bit, actually. I'm skipping ahead. I, my mind jumps a million miles, so hopefully this will keep me grounded enough to, to get through this. So, protection. In terms of protection, pyrite definitely protects against all that. And it's like a shield. Very similar to black tourmaline. Um, and it's going to just... It doesn't transmute the energies if there's something negative. 
like a smoky quartz per se, or a uh, like different crystals like that, where it turns them into a positive. It's just going to smack them in the teeth and say, get out of here. Like, like a black tourmaline, just a shield, just putting up that big shield and saying, beat it. So great for protection. Now, abundance. This is the part where it's exciting because abundance in, I'm talking wealth. I'm talking, uh, you know, wealth could mean many things. Wealth can mean happiness, uh, not just if you have a lot of money. Um, but I'm talking abundance. I'm talking all that. Um, and money and all, you know, success, prosperity, um, abundance means you have more of one thing, whether it be money, money or whatnot, where you have so much that it's, you know, you don't worry as much. And that's exactly what I'm talking about with pyrite because pyrite is the best, the best for abundance and just working with this and keeping it in your home is great for abundance. But the thing is, you kind of need to give it a little bit of a, a purpose here. Like, if you're working with it, you kind of want to give it your intentions where, what do you want? Do you want money? Do you want uh, success on your YouTube channel? Do you want success on, um, if you're a baseball player uh, whatever the case may be, that could be abundance for you, not just cash. Um, so here's the, um, what's the word I'm looking for, but the secret weapon, so to speak, when you're working with pyrite specifically for abundance, get the kind, as you can see here, that has some quartz mixed with it. That is the perfect type of pyrite. And they have these, there's a lot of specimens I see in crystal shops. I think a lot of them come from Bulgaria, but it could come from all over the world. Look for quartz mixed with pyrite. And that is going to be the secret to being able to say, you know what? We're going to activate this crystal. We're going to activate it with the quartz as the activator. Quartz holds memories, holds thoughts. It holds your intentions. And that is the big difference with just a regular piece of pyrite, which is still effective. This is, and the pyrite also comes and it grows in a cube form naturally. This is a natural piece of pyrite. Um, it's not cut. It's not polished. These, they grow in cubes um oh boy so you want to look for if you're going to go for the abundance get it with the quartz mixed in it's going to be a big difference because this way it's going to hold your intentions of what you want whether you want to be that awesome soccer player and have it pull those vibes in or you want that cash in the bank whatever the case may be with the quartz mixed in it's going to hold that intention it's going to know what you are looking for. Now, here's a great way to program it, so to speak, with the quartz to say, pull in whatever the, the case may be. The money, the success, the career path. Get yourself like a little, I mean, you could do this with anything, but get yourself like a little box or something. And all you need to do is write your intention. This is the way I do it. And I'll have some videos on manifestation and stuff like that at some point. But write down your intention, whether you want to draw in money, you want to get a, you know, a certain car or whatever. Write it down. When you're writing something, you have to really focus. Not just like you're half asleep and you, you type something and you're just, you know, it, it means more when you write it because it's coming from your brain right through your hand and you're going to have to think about exactly what you're doing and you put your intentions, you put your passion into that. Write it down on a sticky note, a piece of paper, whatever. Toss the pyrite in with this and 
I keep it open. I don't like to close off crystals from the sun or anything like that. But now, because you have the quartz mixed in, which is holding your intentions, now you have the, the pyrite giving it that extra oomph with the quartz. That is the secret with pyrite to pulling in abundance. 100%. So I would definitely work with it in that regards if you're looking to manifest abundance or wealth. It, it, the secret weapon is quartz mixed in with it. That is the secret. Um, also, let me show you my biggest piece here. Well, actually, let me show you this one first. I, I also do collect myself um, in terms of like going out into the field and looking and uh, mining or whatever, like I'm not mining out there, but I'm just looking for, uh, crystals. And this one is actually something I found and I was really proud of this. And I, the, uh, host rock on the pyrite, I'm in Pennsylvania is very hard. So I had to smash the heck out of this, but it's around. I found this in like a coal area where they, um, have tons of coal. Anytime you, you find coal pyrites close by. So I just wanted to show you that. Depending on your area, you could even go out and find yourself some pyrite. And this one is one of my favorites in my personal collection. Check this beast out. And look at this. Come on! Woo! Look at that. You're talking wealth. You're talking... And no, I don't have LED lights blinking on this. This is all, this is all natural. I mean, this thing... Imagine this in the sun. Wow. This is awesome and it goes all the way around even in the back part this thing is still mind-blowing and i have this in my house just bringing in that abundance whatever the case may be it is bringing it in and this one just so happens to also be laced with quartz and it's perfect for that but wanted to show you this one because it's one of my well probably my favorite favorite personal specimen and it's just beautiful so that is all about pyrite. There's two uses, protection, similar to a black tourmaline, where it will get rid of all the bad vibes, keep them away from you, and also abundance and wealth and prosperity. Let it pull it in, but use that secret weapon. Get some pyrite mixed with quartz. All right, guys, I will see you next week. Everybody have an awesome weekend. See you later.